Hello, Patrice Rati. I'm Jazz Galati, and welcome to this interference cast on something very topical. It's Clubhouse. We're well, thinking, what the hell's Clubhouse? Don't worry, we'll cover what Clubhouse is. But before you continue, it's basically a new app. It's like a, a new form of social media where you're just listening and you're uh, speaking. There's no video involved. So imagine, like, uh, the way I described it in this episode is it's like a WhatsApp group, except everyone's uh, constantly like talking uh, and interacting in that way rather than by, by video. So that's what Clubhouse is. Is there a place for dentistry in Clubhouse? I think there is. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to see that there is a, a role that all dentists can have in Clubhouse. So if you are already on Clubhouse, join uh, the room, the, uh, the clinical dentistry and communication room. Uh, I'm calling it Teach, Preach and Leech. I, I nicked it from a group I used to be part of in Singapore. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a, a room to just discuss clinical dentistry, your clinical issues. I think in the next episode, we're discussing composite veneers versus ceramic veneers, the do's and don'ts, the sort of things on case selection for each of those and why one may be superior than the other, that kind of stuff. So. It's, it's like a live podcast, if you like. So join me on Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. I'll put the link on protrusive.co.uk. And uh, every time I go on Clubhouse at the moment, I'm putting on the Protrusive Dental Community Facebook group. Uh, joining me in this episode is Kevin Rose. Uh, I'll let him introduce himself in the episode. So I hope you enjoy and brings you value about Clubhouse in dentistry. Kevin Rose, welcome to the podcast. How are you? Very, very well indeed. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. It's my son's first day at nursery today, so I am actually super anxious, excited. Like he's had these, like, these little settling sessions, but today's like first whack, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared. How old is that these days when they go to nursery? Is it, uh, what, it, it depends. four, I mean, three? <clears throat> No, he's he's 19 months, so it really depends. Like some some kids I know have been in, you know in nursery since they were six months old uh, or young. So he's 19 months, and we thought this is the best time now for him to start picking up, learning a few extra things. Uh, plus, we're moving out soon. So uh, at the moment, I don't know if you know Kevin. I live with my parents. So since I came back from Singapore 2017, been living with my parents. Finally fleeing the nest because it's just the way it worked out. It's somewhere closer to to work, so I can cut out the commute. Uh, and then so this is this is a big chapter coming up in my life. So you need to delegate uh, parenting for a few hours a day, definitely. That makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Mine are much older. <laughs> I'm at the other end of the scale. Oh, crikey. Uh, 21, 23, and 18 nearly. Yes, there you go. Well, the first thing, for some reason, the first thing I wanted to ask Kevin about your, about your well, it's, you can't really call them children, about your offspring is, are they on Clubhouse? <laughs> they're, they're not. I don't think so. I don't think so. But then... There's been a bit of a social media blackout between myself and my children for many years. I think it's just mutual respect. We don't touch on each other's <laughs> social media world. So um, I don't Are know. Are you blocked on like, every single platform? <laughs> I don't. I don't I, um, we do Strava, actually, quite a bit with me and my kids. I was interested yesterday. My, one of my daughters actually strava mowing the lawn, which I thought was quite impressive, actually. That's keen, isn't it? That's keen to get the miles in. <laughs> but no, Very I don't good. know. I don't know. And, and, and Clubhouse for me is literally, this is day 15. Um, and I find it fascinating for no doubt reasons we will discuss. So uh, what about you? Absolutely. I'm on day 10 of Clubhouse. And to be fair, I, I, was, I got my invite like ages ago. But the thing is, I'm on Android. So then uh, I was just thinking, okay, I need to get on Clubhouse. I need to get on Clubhouse. It would, would complement the podcast, like a live version really well. Uh, and it sounded really intriguing. Uh, and then I, I, I said to my dad, um, I said to my dad, dad, I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting like a secondhand iPad, uh, iPhone. He's like, son, what are you doing? We have 515 iPhone in the cupboard. So I opened the cupboard and literally I've got like so many old iPhones. Uh, and the newest one was an iPhone 7, which wow. just blew my mind. I know, right? What is your one sentence pitch? What, what, what do you do for dentists? I get them to think. I get dentists to Brilliant. think. Uh, and and, that, that's, and that, that's it. I, I really do. And I believe that um, that experience within and outside of dentistry. Yes, okay. I, I can, at 12 years, I could, probably talk, I could probably talk my way around the dental surgery, right? I kind of get the, 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 the lingo and I get BPE scores and I get, I know what a flat plastic <laughs> is now, by the way. Who knew, Excellent. right? I always thought we made a plastic. Turns out it isn't. But um, yeah, so I, I, I get that bit, which means you can hold a conversation. And I've got all of the um, the stuff, if you like, the things you'd expect from a, a, a coach or a consultant or a trainer to bring with them into any business. Um, what, what I really believe, Jazz, is that the, the difference between those that Define success is probably another another conversation, but I really believe that the difference between those that really succeed and 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 don't is actually it's a small percentage of difference, and that difference I think comes down to 
um, the conversations that you have with yourself as, as a business owner, that internal dialogue, and the conversations that you have with others. Um, and in a dental practice, those conversations are with patients and members of your team. And if you think about it, the, the, the day-to-day challenges of running a business tend to be more about people and customers. That's where the difference is. So I, I, I think, yeah, what do I do? I, I get dentists to think, why is that really important? Because that's, that that's that extra 20% is the difference between a good day and a bad day. Um, and, and, and I do that because I ask lots of questions and I'm curious and I give a damn. You know, that, that's, that's my philosophy on it. Brilliant. Well, we're going to talk today about uh, Clubhouse. So for those listening right now, I mean, uh, I've, I've done it already where we've been on the big dental groups and I said, hey, you know, we're, we're hosting a, a Clubhouse room. Uh, and you know what the number one question is, right? When we say, hey, uh, join our Clubhouse room. Can you guess, Kevin, what's the number one question that dentists ask about Clubhouse? Oh, let me guess. Is it how to use it to attract patients by any chance? No, it, it, it's, it's very much more fundamental than that. It's what the hell's Clubhouse, right? <laughs> so, so, so literally, we, we, we've been absorbed into this because me, I, I, you know, I'm really addicted to it now. And I'm sure you've been in loads of rooms and getting a lot of value and stuff. And then there's a good and a bad. And we're, we're going to get to that in a moment. But most people are still that phase because we, we're pretty much early adopters because it's in my only 60% of the world uses Android and it's, it's on iOS at the moment. I think only about 6%, 7% of the world use iOS uh, in the first place. So it, it, it's a small offering at the moment. It's a small community. Uh, it's an interesting community. But essentially, for those listening who don't know what Clubhouse is, imagine a radio show on your phone, on demand, but with your mates. It's like a WhatsApp group, but you, you, you all talk, except you're, ty- you're not typing. But except on this WhatsApp group, you've got like... You know, the most successful billionaires uh, in the world potentially sat in this um, WhatsApp group of yours. What's your take on Clubhouse? How, could, how, how do you explain what Clubhouse is to someone? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to steal your definition there, actually, because I struggle to explain it. Um, and, and I'm a bit of a, um, I am an ambassador for it. I keep banging on about it to people. Um, yeah, I mean, my, my take on Clubhouse is that, number one, actually, it's not obvious <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not obvious how it works or what to do with it. The first time I was asked to speak, uh, it caught me off guard, and I didn't even have the microphone settings, the privacy settings on my phone correct. So I went, I was pressing all the <laughs> buttons trying to unmute myself, and you know, and 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 inevitably with Clubhouse, probably doing something else at the same time. And I guess that's also the beauty of it. I think I was, it was quite early on. I was having a cup of tea or something, making breakfast, and there I said I was, I was asked to speak on Clubhouse. Um, in terms of where we go with it and, 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 and what opportunities it provides, um, I, I, I want to put that into context because, you know, my job is to get us thinking, right? And, and I say that that's what I do. Uh, I ask the big questions that perhaps other people don't think or, or, or are scared or, or don't want to face up to. And, and the bigger question, it's always been my thing for 12 years now, is how the, how, how the heck don't we get more, can we get more people to go to the dentist? Why doesn't everybody go to the dentist. And you know where I'm going with this. There is something, some hang-ups people have um, about dentists and dentistry. And and yet everyone that goes to the dentist raves about their dentist. They talk about, you know, their own dentist and and their dentist is special. And yet you get these massive percentages of the population and these numbers are replicated globally. I've got clients in other parts of of the world. Um, You know, there's big swathes of the population who just don't get it. And that's not all to do with NHS and affordability. There is, I think, a bit of antipathy towards um, the profession and by the public, and, and and they're misunderstood. And they assume that every, all you you know all the phrases. I've never met a poor dentist. Well, I've met some <laughs> dentists that are struggling right now. But 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 you won't get that much. You probably won't get that much um, sympathy from 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 the public if you were to go and say that. So that's the issue that I think we're we're, we're struggling to to fight with as a, as a profession. And I think it's more of a PR issue than a marketing issue in many ways. And and I mention that because that's how I think we, we use Clubhouse to our best advantage. Um, I think that's, dentistry- That's very interesting, Kevin, because I, I've been using Clubhouse in a completely different way. I come from very much a, you know, as an extension of my podcast, how can I serve the community of, of dentists? Because so far, you're right, Kevin, I, I go on Clubhouse and the majority of the room, so they're called rooms in Clubhouse where you, where you join in and you, you know, there's people on the stage, it's called the stage where people at the top uh, and they're like hosting and moderating. And then uh, I'm just explaining for those who don't know what it is, you raise your hand virtually and then you call up to the stage. If you get your turn, you know, you can put your contribution in. Uh, and so the, the kind of themes I'm coming up with is 
helping dentists, which is the main one I'm getting uh, involved with and, uh, you know, clinical stuff, which is not happening that much at the moment, but I'm hoping to change that. But it's more about marketing, uh, how to get Invisalign, Invisalign number one, how to attract more patients, how to use social media in dentistry. Those are the kind of rooms that I'm seeing, uh, how to acquire your practice and, and that kind of stuff. So, it, it, you know, everything that you see on all the other extension social media, we're seeing it turn up on Clubhouse. Now, what I love about Clubhouse is you vote with your ears, right? Because I've been to a few rooms now, Kevin, and all I'm seeing is one host or moderator is just, you know, completely just, um, oh, this moderator is awesome, you know, follow them, this is amazing, and then everyone's just sort of bigging each other up, but no one's actually giving any value. So you vote with your ears, you can just leave. If you don't want to be in that, you just leave. Uh, so that's what I'm enjoying the most about Clubhouse. Yeah, and that's, you, you've, 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 I think there's a meeting of minds here, Jazz, because that, that's my, I'm going to say concern with a very small C. It's not a problem, it's not, a, it's not that it's wrong. I think at the moment, almost inevitably, with this being a new technology, um, and you're right, those rooms largely seem to be about how to get more as if we're chasing something. Um, and, I mean, and that's, that's got a place. Kevin. As you said, it's got a place and people want to learn that and, yeah, and that's got a place. Yeah. But that, that seems to be the majority at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And, and of course, you have to have that in business. OK, and, and that's part of what I do. You know, part of what I do is help people get busier practices. No one's trying to go backwards generally in, in life or in business. And I, and I support that. Um, the, 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 the trick I think we're possibly missing is if all we use Clubhouse for is just another platform to say exactly the same things in a slightly different way, then I think it would be a, it's a shame because I think we're missing an opportunity. Going back to my point about the PR problem of, of, of dentistry. So yeah, if you are um, a member of the public and let's just take the obvious one at the moment and you're looking for some kind of um, removable clearer line a teeth straightening system um, you know there's plenty of choice out there um, and there's plenty of dentists on clubhouse talking how to give patients choice and to be their choice there's a lot of that going on that's what you're alluding to um, and that's great if you're already in the market as a member of the public for for have for looking for that but what about the millions, millions? And what are we now? 60 million people in a small island, most of whom are born with the teeth in their mouths that they're going to have for the rest of their lives. And what, half of them regularly attend the dentist? You know, there's enough out there, Jazz, right? There's enough people out there for us all. What, what I think we're missing is this hump that people have to get over to at least, to even pick up the phone to a dental practice. So... This is where I think Clubhouse has its biggest opportunity. Now, I, I, I wrote a blog about this last week. Um, yeah, when I, when I Google, and it's not my greatest work, because I think I'm still finding my feet with this myself, but when, when I Googled um, Clubhouse last Wednesday or Thursday, I got to the end of the internet, right? I finished the internet. There were only 22 pages, 22 wow. pages about Clubhouse. Now, there's a caveat there. Google then said, we've removed certain things to avoid duplication, right? But, but in essence, what I'm saying is it's new. Now, if you can't Google the answers to something, heaven forbid, what have we got to do, Jazz? We've got to start talking to each other. We've got to start asking questions. We've got to start thinking. We've got to start doing our own research. And, and I think that's, to me, it just got me really thinking, well, hang on a minute, if, if Clubhouse is that new, that we've run out of internet at the moment in terms of what to do with it, then it's finding its own feet. The internet is not giving us the answers to what we do with Clubhouse, okay? We've had to work it out for ourselves and that's what we're doing. That's what this conversation's about. But that then got me thinking, well, what if you're a member of the public who isn't getting the answers you want from the internet as well, okay? So there are questions that you would want to ask as a patient, which I don't think you're gonna get the answer to until you look somebody in the eye, because their feelings, their emotions, you know? The, 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 the internet doesn't really serve the limbic system well, the, the inner chimp, the fight or flight. It doesn't, it delivers facts. It delivers facts and a bit of opinion. And opinion. It's harder for the internet to connect emotionally. And yet, if you think about it, you know, if you, you, businesses, businesses would, uh, crave to have what we have, which is the ability to emotionally connect with other human beings. You guys do it all day long. You know, big companies try and do it with cars 
and with cans of fizzy drinks and with inanimate objects to get that emotional connection. And yet you guys have got that emotional con emotional connection. So I'm going to bring, bring this back around to Clubhouse in a second, I promise you. So here we have, here we have I think, if you want to attract more people into your dental practice, and most people would say that they do, okay, um, I, I th and, and by the way, when you say attract, I'm, I'm talking about attracting and retaining loyal and motivated patients, and it not just to be about the numbers, to be a, to, there to be a quantity, but also a qualitative outcome. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. the things that Amen. we really need to measure, and, and it gets hard because it gets subjective, okay? But, but, you know, I mean, I was thinking about this the other day. I mean, what I would measure if I was a dental practice and I was also doing clear aligners, I'd also be measuring how many of my customers bring those aligners back for recycling. You know, that's just as important. And yet it's not the obvious thing. So we, we, we have an opportunity here to, to use, to, to think about the, the, where the internet lets us down as a member of the public, because it doesn't answer the real personal questions that you have to pick up the phone for, you have to get on a, um, on, on a messenger for. And guess what? In the last 12 months, you actually can occasionally speak to a dentist on a video at home uh, on an evening and of course it's absolutely transformed how we interact with people uh, with patients because they do get to look you in the eye that's why video consults are so successful so there you have it what what where do we go with this well the internet isn't the answer the internet isn't the answer to all of this engaging with people eye to eye if you like it is the answer we've proved it with video consults and i think even though clubhouse is just an audio format that's where I think there's still a massive opportunity, which is yet as yet untapped from what I've seen. Yes, we can talk about using it to uh, attract patients who are probably already in the business of looking for a dentist. I get that. But what about those that aren't, that those that don't get it yet? So we can use Clubhouse, I think, to, and again, this is a working title, but to bring people almost behind the scenes. You know how... Um, when businesses have a bit of a PR issue, they take the cameras, they bring the reporters behind the scenes and they show them warts and all. And actually, and it's not all pretty, but, but it does change people's perceptions. They go, oh, I didn't realise it was like that. You know, if you look at over the years, businesses that have used that, EasyJet, for example, who'd have thought that people shouting at the, the check-in desk at EasyJet would actually build the brand? And yet that's what you had. Um, we've seen it with restaurants. And right now, and again, Bit of Google research. There's only 22 pages to look at. I know them all. Um, <laughs> the, com the company that owns Burger King, and it's a big restaurant chain I'd never heard of, actually. Um, they've got Clubhouse. They've got something called Open Kitchen. So what they're doing is, as a member of the public, you can actually go behind the scenes and talk to the chef of a restaurant chain, who in turn owns Brilliant. Burger King, or the chefs. So you can Brilliant. actually do So what, can you see where we're going with this? Is, is, is that going to sell more burgers tomorrow because of that directly? Well, you've got to forget that. You've got to be detached from that. You've got to look at that bigger picture. So I could be cynical and say it's junk food, it's pollution, it's packaging, it's making kids fat and all the rest of it. But you've got to admire being brave enough to bring the public and bring them so they can see something from the inside out. Now, that's a very long answer to how do you use Clubhouse? Well, you use it in exactly the same way. So, so you, you use Clubhouse to bring sceptical people, okay, not just the fans, not just the ones with the, you know, the aligners and the white teeth and the, and the veneers, okay, sceptical people who are on that scale of complete fear and, and, and anxiety through to just having read a tabloid newspaper once, okay, and everything in between. Bring sceptical people to see what it's really like, okay? I mean, look, you know, this conversation now, okay, but do, 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 do patient, patients don't know that dentists are bending over backwards to try and help the public. Patients think it's hard to get a dentist. And yes, I know it's hard at the moment it, relatively because of COVID and all the rest of it. But, but you know, all, all these myths and memes and prejudices that the public have, let, let's debunk them. But you won't, you won't debunk them by just saying... I'm a dentist, here's my opening hours, here's a special offer. We do straightening, whitening, implants, and all the rest of it. That's what you do, okay? And I'm trying to avoid 
stealing Simon Sinek's quote, but it's almost inevitable. You have to <laughs> do it at anyway, because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, people don't buy that. They buy why you do it. So what's that why? And what a better way to communicate something that can be quite ineffable because because it's a feeling than a conversation to really get that passion across. Kevin, I'm gonna well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna object because I'm gonna sort of um, debate with you a little bit, <clears throat> in, in, all in good nature. So firstly, you, you know, I, I was listening very carefully and I, a few points you said. Firstly, I love the whole burger thing, okay? Is the fact that they got the open kitchen on, on Clubhouse, is that going to sell more burgers tomorrow? Who cares? That's not what it's about, okay? So I love that firstly, okay? So from that, I can extrapolate that as dentists, we can serve our patients, not just our direct patients, but humans. Let's serve humans. Let's improve uh, their perceptions of dentistry because we can do wonders with that. So that's, I, I definitely agree we can do that. And I think we should because I, th I think it's very altruistic because when I've hosted a room uh, about clinical dentistry, it's one just geek out with other dentists, you know, how sad am I? There was someone from Harvard. There was someone from UAE. There was someone from Spain. All dentists were just learning each other, pitching different scenarios. Love that. Now, here is the skeptic who wants to attract more patients to our practice. Maybe Clubhouse is not the best place for them because when they host a room all about how to overcome your dental fears, well, you'll have a patient from San Diego, you'll have a patient from uh, Nice, you'll have a patient from Shanghai. I don't know. I'm making these up, right? Maybe one person, one patient is 30 miles away from you that may come see you. So maybe it's not the best reason to attract patients to your practice at the moment with the, the, the small scale it is. Maybe in the future it could be used in that way to sort of help people overcome their fear and then eventually come to your practice. But at the moment it's not about that. So at the moment it's about raising the profile of dentists, helping uh, the humans to the greater good of dentistry. So I think that's where I'm seeing it go at the moment. So that's my only objection because you said about emotional connection, I think you can get that emotional connection through YouTube. Like so many dentists I know have made wonderful YouTube videos where they look at the camera in the eye and say, you know what, my practice is in Reading, here's where I work, here's, how I get, here's what we do, this is what we're about. Where do you see the role of that versus Clubhouse and how can Clubhouse compete with that? Well, it, it's, it's, it's an audio format only, so, um, but, but YouTube tends to be static, doesn't it? You know, I know, I know billions of things get uploaded every day, but, it, but it's, not, it's, not, it's, not quite, it's not a dialogue. Uh, it's a recording. I, I guess that's the fundamental difference. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, and 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 you're you're right. Going back to those things, I was expecting you to like beat me up then, as, as when you said I want to challenge you. And, I, and I, I'm happy to be challenged on this. There's nothing to challenge. It's just a, an idea about something that hasn't yet been done. So, is there a right or wrong? Um, is it limited? Yeah. If you're hoping to go on Clubhouse and fill tomorrow's white space, forget it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Forget it, you know, or catch up on some UDAs. That's not what it's about. Um, and, and if you're looking to, you know, um, you know, do, do, do more dentistry tomorrow because of it. No, no way. Um, you're kind of missing the point. There's, there's a principle which I've always believed, believed in. And in the end, it cost me a, a career. I left a profession because of this um, to be detached from if you like the outcome, the end result, whatever you want to call it, that's a good thing in 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 life and and certainly in business because people will see through it otherwise. Um, and, and I do believe it's actually effectively GDC one point one, right? So not of a vested interest. So so it's a, it's a good thing from a regulatory point of view. So it was always a good thing. So go on Clubhouse to sell some dentistry. No, no, no. Um, bring a patient in your surgery to sell some dentistry and make some money. Good, good luck with that. In the short term, fine. Maybe you'll get away with it. Um, but, but if you want to change perceptions, and it is a bit ultra. I mean, I, I'm an idealist, right? I, I, I get that. Um, and, and I just think that, I don't know if this is a phrase or not, whether I've made this up or, or something about, you know, all, all the boats sail into the harbour better on a rising tide. I don't know. I've heard that somewhere. But you get the gist I of like that. It. You know, you know, we, we if if we all and that's the other thing about Clubhouse, by the way, I think it's got a huge collaborative. Um, you know, even this conversation came from a half past seven in the morning Clubhouse message or something, you know, um, when you've got so many millions of people who are missing out on basic dental care, but for the lack yet of having a good conversation with a frontline dental health care provider. Um, well, if we're all having better conversations, we all benefit. If everybody's having better conversations with the public generally, 
then everybody, more people go to the dentist. So why why make it a a, a one man crusade to get more patients in within your immediate postcode? Don't see it like that. Brilliant, and because th- I just want to clarify that for those thinking they're going to jump on Clubhouse and <clears throat> get those patients, and you, you you nailed it there. So please don't uh, I know try. In- please don't try and do yeah. that. Get get off Clubhouse if that's what you're trying to do, because it's not going to work. It's not going to work, and it'll ruin it. It's not Facebook. 100%. Let's not let's not spoil it. Exactly, uh, and I know you got you got a meeting, so I'm just going to wrap it up by say uh, to to summarize uh, and, and and advocate what Kevin said there. Have conversations, have better conversations, and have uh, or create emotional connections, and you can do that through the through many mediums. Clubhouse just offers you another way where you can be doing anything you've been washing the dishes you can be uh doing any anything you can imagine uh but but you know there's no video involved so th- there's a beauty of clubhouse which i'm really enjoying as well it's on the go you can you can learn a lot you can just be a fly in the room because sometimes you say hey i wish i was a fly on, on the wall when these billionaires are having conversations and there's those rooms exist and they're fantastic all right so uh i know you gotta go but is there anything uh, you want to wrap up with my friend and thanks so much for coming on kevin well, thank you. I've, I've enjoyed it. And it was all a bit um, on, on the hoof. Uh, we, we didn't talk or prepare for this. It was just, let's just talk about Clubhouse. Those are my thoughts. And, and you're right. That fly on the wall thing, there it is. That's a bit like what Clubhouse is. You've got a chance to change the perception of going to the dentist in a conversational way. And that's what Clubhouse, I think, it's one of the biggest opportunities. And you know, to, to sign this off, the, the, the internet isn't personal, okay? It, it's a library of things. And like, any, like a real tangible library, you're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to interact, right? I mean, you know, I'm old enough to remember libraries. You know, I used to go there to go on telly, <laughs> to, go to, to get books out after school and look at teletext, like it was the internet of the day, right? I mean, it was rubbish <laughs> by comparison. But you, you weren't, you're not, you're, the whole point of the library is it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's almost a, you know, a stereotype situation. Shh, just, just take it all in. It's one way. So the internet is just an online library. So who do you talk to directly when you're searching for stuff on your computer? You can't. And what are we missing? What are we missing more of in dentistry? conversations with people not just those that have already bought the idea of going to the dentist those that might just need a bit more encouragement and reassurance so i think any platform that allows us to talk directly with our um, customers or, or, or patients in this case and including from this perspective of i would say just call it from the inside out wow that that's how you change people's attitudes and perceptions towards something and that's a wonderful opportunity so that wasn't a very brief Brilliant. answer i can't give you brief answers on this stuff because we've I, sussed I just, that one out kevin but we, we enjoy your rambling that's fine we enjoy your rambling. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for coming. i know you've got a meeting to, to go to as well have, i'll be taking my Crikey. to nursery very soon so uh thank you so much and uh yeah i'll put this up very soon because this is very current so i'm not going to delay on this one we'll get it out very soon buddy i'll see you on clubhouse no doubt Okay. See you in Clubhouse. Bye, Kevin. Cheers. Bye.